What is going on investors? Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something very, very important and something that you could profit very heavily from. So in today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about something that has not happened in decades. We're going to go over what that is and exactly how you can profit from it because I'm going to give you guys possibly the number one performing stock in that category. So guys, if all that sounds interesting, if you're ready to hear what that stock exactly is, make sure and stay tuned for the entire video. Make sure and subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you never miss an important video like this one. And with that said, guys, let's get right into this video. So if you guys are paying attention to the world whatsoever, then you know one concept is pretty much unarguable, and that is the dollar is crashing. It is becoming less and less valuable as time continues to move on. And you can see this just as you go and try to purchase goods and services. Just take a look at the housing market for one example. The housing market is absolutely flying at sky high. Each dollar you have is buying less and and less per square foot really no matter what area you are currently in and some of the smartest people in the world are saying that this dollar crash is only just beginning and if you guys have been around for these markets for quite a long time then you know exactly how to profit when the dollar is crashing down compared to other forms of currency around the world but if you guys do not make sure and stay tuned because as always I'm gonna tell you exactly what that is but let's read on here so it says after an initial spike higher the dollar has been falling steadily since the CV pandemic took hold in the U.S. last March. And obviously this is happening because the feds just continue to run the money printer absolutely nonstop. They are printing more dollars. They're printing close to the entire GDP of the United States. And since all of that, it has dropped the dollar to its weakest level since early 2018 as measured by several of the broad dollar indexes. Now, in addition to the dollar crashing, we also know that this CV is looking like it's turning worse once again. So pretty much a couple months ago, we thought we were in the clear we thought we were going to be returning back to normal and everything was going to be okay but ever since the last month we're seeing new variants come down and as you can read from this article right here the Biden administration indicates they are open to returning to lockdowns we know mask mandates are already coming back full swing employees are required to wear masks around where I live soon it is going to be everyone going in these stores we know Las Vegas has mandated masks we know this is getting a lot more serious and that lockdowns could possibly returning once again and unfortunately, if all this comes back to play just like it did in March, then we know exactly what's going to happen with the market. The stock market is going to crash once again. But even if all that doesn't happen, even the best case scenario, the market doesn't crash due to the lockdowns. I still think a crash is going to come, whether that might not be tomorrow. I know it's not going to be tomorrow, in fact, but it might be within the next six months, within the next years, it probably within the next two years, a market crash is going to come. And that's just because of how over leveraged the entire stock market currently is. Take a look at some of these slides. So the first one is this. This is the S&P 500 price to sales ratio. Take a look at this. These are the years. So this is 1995 to 1999. You can see that was a massive spike right there. Obviously, it crashed very, very hard in 08 and 09. And now you can see we are sky high to new all-time levels past what those levels were in 1995 and 99, which ultimately started the crash that led to the big drop in 08. So if you just look at history, if you just look at these support and resistance levels there's almost no question that a market crash is going to be coming we're not just going to fly high forever that's not how the stock market works ultimately when we get to certain levels when we get over leveraged and you can see that by looking at past charts just like this one ultimately the markets have a correction and that is what we are going to be looking to have maybe not tomorrow but maybe within the next six months to the next two years we could see a market correction possibly worst case scenario even a full out market crash and obviously all this could be heightened and get completely worse if this CV comes back into full swing and the lockdowns really come down hard. Now, in addition to that, we can also see from the Buffett indicator right here that according to his chart, a market crash is going to be coming in 2021. And that is as we can see right here. And you can see in the past, he has been quite correct. Take a look here at 2001. All the gray areas are where the market crashes or recessions could be coming in according to his indicator. And you can see here in 2000, 2001 when it came in you can see here in 2008 when it came in you can see all the way back even in the 90s and the 80s we had market corrections even recessions every time these gray areas hit and now it is coming up once again in 2021 obviously we haven't had it yet besides that little teeny bit in March of 2020 of March of 2020 when we crashed because of the CV but ultimately we haven't had that 
that big recession that his indicator is indicating will happen in 2021. So I know this is a big rant, but ultimately you can see what's happening. The dollar is non-arguably, you can't even argue, it is declining in value. The purchasing power is going down, especially when you compare it to other world currencies. We also see that the market is way over leveraged and we are due for a correction. We are due for a recession. All this money printing, the CV pandemic, all of this is just leading more and more to strengthen the case that we could be seeing some kind of correction, possibly even a crash coming up in the future. So what are the wealthy doing with this? What are they doing with this knowledge? Ultimately, how can us as retail investors profit from it? So as you guys may already know, when the value of the dollar decreases compared to other world countries, the price of one thing goes up specifically, and that is gold. Now, listen, guys, this does not mean I've compl I'm completely selling out of all of my other assets, all of my cryptocurrencies, all of my other stocks like AMC and moving into gold. That is not the case whatsoever, but it is going to be my hedge. With excess cash, I might not be dumping as much as I have been into the stock markets and into other risky investments like cryptocurrency. I am going to be starting to allocate more of my cash to more commodities, specifically gold, because of some of these charts I'm going to show you. They're lining up absolutely perfect. That gold is a good price right now, and it is due for a major, major upswing. Also, most people don't realize this whatsoever, but if you look at returns since the year 2000, gold has literally tripled, tripled the S&P 500 gains, and we know the S&P 500 has had pretty awesome gains since the year 2000, but gold has tripled those returns. I mean, that is absolutely massive, and as you can see from this article, it says that could possibly happen again. Take a look at this. This is a very surprising statistic. It says a dollar invested in gold in the year 2000 would be worth about $6.82 now. That same dollar invested in the S&P 500 would be worth about $2.34. I mean, that is absolutely crazy. So anyways, gold versus stocks, guys. So the rest of of today's video is going to be me showing you two charts, but then we're going to jump into one specific stock that I do believe could be your best gold investment to ever get into because of the position they are in. They have just discovered what is pretty much the gold mine, if you will, in the gold world. This is also a company with zero debt, a management that owns 40% of the company, and a stock that has some massive news coming up in the very near future because of some things that they are uncovering that really could print some serious returns coming up in the future. Now, before we get into that specific stock, I want to show you one more chart on why gold could be a very good investment if we would start to head into some sort of market correction here. So take a look at this chart right here. This is the chart that compares the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, gold and silver from August 9th, 1971, all the way to 2021. As you can see, obviously gold is in and yellow in the Dow Jones and S&P 500 is this pretty similar blue and red line. Now take a look at every single market correction on what happens. So as we can see, one of the most famous ones is here in 0809, obviously a massive crash. Gold did the absolute inverse reaction of what the entire stock market did. Gold went up drastically all the way from 0809 all the way to 2015. And that was when the entire market had a big crash for two to three years, a massive crash, one of the biggest in history, and then started to recover. But still, gold outperformed the entire market even when it started to recover. Once again, though, on a smaller scale, take a look at 2021, which I know, or 2020, March of 2020, when the CV hit, which I know most of you were a part of, so you'll be able to relate to this a lot more. Obviously, we saw the stock market crypto absolutely crash. I mean, pretty hard, pretty dramatically for an overall short period of time, but nevertheless, it crashed pretty hard. And take a look at what gold did. Gold absolutely spiked when all of that happened, going up to astronomical levels. So the point of all this is, if you do think a correction is coming, which I personally think you're silly if you don't think a correction is coming, within six months to two years, probably closer to that one to two year time frame, just because of how over leveraged the entire market truly is, then you would know that gold could be one of the best investments to start slowly allocating over the next several months to the next couple of years. And obviously you can invest in physical gold or just gold ETFs, but I think it is important to expand. These gold mining companies can really take off and produce absolutely insane returns if you invest in the right ones. And here is one gold mining stock because of what they're doing that I believe can absolutely take off. They have already produced insane returns. I'm talking 
over 1000% returns over the last five years, and they are literally just getting started. There is big news coming up in the near future that could possibly replicate this once again. Now, as you can see, this company is ticker symbol STRPF, and it is on the OTC market. So you have to use some of those larger brokerages like Vanguard, like Fidelity, like TD Ameritrade. You're not going to find this on Robinhood or Weeble, but more than likely, you guys aren't using those brokerages anyways because of what they have been doing with AMC and GME, which I much respect. And I think that is absolutely great. So you will find this stock on those larger brokerages, but let's move on here. Let's get to the good stuff. Let me tell you about this company, what they have discovered and what they have coming up in the future. And so guys, it absolutely all has to do with their location. The location of their property is absolutely critical to the opportunity that they present. And you can see the map over here, which we're going to talk about how close they are to some of these other companies, which is absolutely huge considering what they discovered. Stay tuned for that. But anyways, they are located in Canada in the Quebec province, which is a massive 1.7 million square kilometer place and contains one of the most one of the most diverse collections of metals out of anywhere in the entire world. And even more importantly than that, only 1% of this entire province is currently being mined and only 5% does any company actually own the rights. So all of this is up for grabs. All of the precious metals, including gold, is up for grabs pretty much 95% of it in this Canadian province. Now let's talk about it even more because they have actually discovered something, something absolutely huge. And it is so rare that it is literally considered the holy grail of the mining world. I mean, very big. And that is called a VMS. Let me show you exactly what that means. So guys, a VMS deposit is one of the richest sources of metals such as copper, lead, and zinc globally. VMS deposits can also produce economic am amounts of gold and silver as byproducts of mining these deposits. So they went looking for gold, but they ended up finding something that is literally only uncovered once, twice, possibly even three times in a decade. This is extremely rare. So they found a ton of other metals, which obviously all of these are very, very sought after after right now and are obviously going for very high prices. Why? Because the dollar is buying less and all the values, the inflation, everything is shooting up sky high. So this is obviously extremely good for their company. But the other major thing with this company is where they're located and who they are next to. So if you guys can see here, a star peak is actually located next to this company called Amex. You can see here's the star peak products. Then we have Amex literally touching the borders. I know that it's kind of hard to see there. There you go. That should work. So they're literally touching the borders with each each other and that company is called Amex Exploration and that company actually hit a very very epic gold mining hole and its share price absolutely skyrocketed I mean it went from six cents all the way to three dollars and ninety cents which is literally a sixty five hundred percent return in a fairly short amount of time all because they discovered one very very big gold mine obviously generated a ton of revenue from it so that opportunity obviously pretty much vanished or I would be telling you to invest in that one but this company Company is directly next to it that means they're literally on the same mine they just each own separate properties so the possibility of finding something as big as that is very very likely and so that's what I mean when I tell you that star peak has an amazing opportunity ahead of them not only that they just discovered the gold mine if you will no pun intended of this entire gold mining industry but also they're on the same mine right next to a company that shot up 65% because they found a absolutely massive gold mine like I said in the beginning I really think star peak is just at the beginning of the potential that they could have and that is just a company in general I could be telling you guys or I could be investing in this company at any time but I think it is even better to be investing into this company now or within the next couple of months why in preparation in preparation of what could come with this entire market we see things over leveraged we know a correction is coming at some point you can believe wealthy people are gonna start to allocate their money to assets like gold as gold goes up all these mining companies will go up and if they find one big mine like the company next door did then you can believe this company is absolutely going to skyrocket in addition to that this company has absolutely no debt and enough cash to keep drilling for more than a year I really haven't heard of a mining company that has no debt but this company has fully funded no debt whatsoever and they have enough cash to continue drilling for another year which is obviously absolutely massive 
Also, the management team is 100% all in. 40% is owned by the management, no share offerings. They believe in this company 100%. And obviously that is very, very strong that they're just not in it for a job. They're just not in it to make money out of the gold. They truly believe in this company. Anyways, though, guys, I will end it with this. Gold is still relatively cheap and could surge back toward its all-time highs. Strategist says this is absolutely 100% true. But guys, I really want you to take a look at this company. I want to do your own, I want you to do your own research, do your own due diligence, and I want you to let me know down in the comments what you think about this company. I personally think they are very strong, especially what could be going on in the entire economy coming up in the near future. I want to hear from you guys though. Let me know. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Come join us in our completely free Discord. Turn on those notifications. As always, guys, I will see you in the next video.